Okay, so here's where we are with the Chrysler. Uh, I took this thing over to have the front end lined up, and the guy said, oh, you can't do it, your drag link's bad. So I went online and ordered a new drag link, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, I don't think it is the drag link that's bad. I think it's these tie rod ends, and the way this thing is made, this is kind of just like that drag link. That's not a changeable uh, joint there that's that's in the drag link itself and the same is true with this you can't press that out and change it you have to buy this whole piece so and I got to thinking well if that one's bad there's a good chance that one might be too and I've already got this new piece so I decided I went ahead and ordered both sides here of these joints uh, there's a place online where I found that supplies vintage automobile front-end suspension parts So I'm gonna hold off on doing anything until they get here It should be fairly easy to pop all of this off when they get here and pop the new one on there and then uh, scoot over and have it lined up after we do that so uh, and basically all the alignments well biggest thing about the alignment at that point will be setting the um, what's the word the the end I want to say the end plug but that's not right y'all know what I'm trying to say is the part where you make sure the wheels are facing in the same direction uh, anyway so what I'm gonna do instead I was gonna do that I'm gonna go crank the cross a little bit uh, another thing on my list is just to wash the motor and all that but uh, I'm not gonna do that I'm not gonna do that right today. I'm gonna pull that Crosley out and wash it while I've got all the washing stuff. Uh, so how many people think the Crosley will crank? Raise your hands. Okay, yep, I see your hand. Yep, I see that one. Yep, yep, I see that one. Okay. How many of you think it won't crank? Okay, I see that hand. All right, one, two, three, four. Okay, well we'll see. Let me move this uh, truck out of the way, and we'll go. Uh, we'll go see what it takes to get the Crosley going. I bet she. I'm believe she'll crank out. That's what I think. Well, I gotta unhook the battery cable. Okay, the steering on the truck is a little stiff, and I did have some problems with that steering before I left. I also have a puddle here, which could be steering fluid leaked out. So that's something I'll be looking into. But we're gonna go crank the Crosley right now, and then we'll come back to whatever else where it's going on around here. We'll come back to that the Crosley is next. So, let's see what we've got here. If y'all saw that little birdie flitter out, I mentioned the other day that there was a bird's nest in here. I'm hoping it's up there, not in here. We will see in a minute or two. I think the key might be in the house. I'm gonna go get it. I'll be right back. Okay, let's try it with the key now. Sometimes it cranks up with the key. 